for this evening. Uh, we have a moderate uh, easterly wind at the moment, a uh, moderate sea running as well. We'll be using our stabilising pin, so you should have a reasonably comfortable crossing. But I couldn't meet up with you. Things got in the way. And sorry to everyone else in the UK, I didn't have the opportunity to give you a visit either. My time was a bit limited due to, well, sickness and my intense fear of trying to operate a motor vehicle in your country. But rest assured, I'll be back someday. Arriving at Dunkirk, I think that's an oil refinery. It was marked out uh, as such of a map anyway, or rather something very near the port. Those are some cool looking buildings. Alright. We are about to be on the move to France, so my plan is to drive a bit into the night at least. Perhaps make Belgium. Gonna take a different route this time than I did before, I'm going to skip the Netherlands, just go straight through Belgium in order to see a bit more of uh, Germany, hopefully without uh, any involvement of the police this time. Oh, there's seven minutes of battery life left, oh well. Coming straight out of Britain, driving on the what's supposed to be to me right side of a road, correct side, feels so incredibly weird. I'm constantly confused as to whether or not I'm doing the right thing and like keeping to the right just from driving twice literally in Britain feels weird. Like keeping this lane, which I'm forced to do right now because the road works just feels natural now. This, I think that, like this is the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> Probably gonna feel weird all throughout France. Fucking Britain. Someone warned me not to buy fuel in the UK, so, so I didn't. And 600 kilometers in one tank <clears throat> is just, uh, we're just shit, three kilometers shy of my best record of this vehicle, which is 600 flat, 597, with a solar panel mounted. A bit proud. But yeah, it's a bit stressful driving around in a diesel when you see the fuel gauge getting ever so low. Uh, but I do know that I have well over 100 kilometers range still, but the fuel, low fuel light is the brightest on the dash. And it seems that we like central western european countries they hate service stations you just can't find them sitting beside a large road yeah, but rather you need to basically find them with a gps and drive into some little town i'm about five kilometers off the e40 now and this was the first one i spotted basically off the docks all right gonna <coughs> call the night and kind of just like the engine island suck some heat into the living area so as you can see I'm um, uh, basically halfway between Brussels and the Netherlands border there heading eastward and uh, tomorrow we're going to be crossing a, across a teensy bit of Netherlands and then on to Germany uh, another news this is going to be the latest most obnoxious night I've had yet uh, I just pulled over at a gas station by a major road uh, just because it doesn't want to focus just because it well was on the route and I can't be bothered looking for a more proper campsite it's one of these really big lorry parking restaurant gas station places there are people coming and going all day but I did time it so that uh, uh, it is about uh, 7 in the morning, so the sun is going to be coming up, rush hour is about to end. And perhaps it calms down a bit during the day, and uh, we'll see. 
I'm so tired, I've been up for ages. Drove through. What well, we've made it from, what well, we've made it from there to there in one day. That's not too bad. So, I'm happy to call it. Oh, good night. Good afternoon, Belgium. Uh, I haven't slept very well. I think it's like five in the afternoon local. Something like that. I actually have no idea since my phone wouldn't hold it just this time. I had to throw up a bit of an extra curtain to keep it somewhat dark in here, but as you can see, there's still a fair amount of light coming in. That's just a trash bag over the rear windows. It is pleasantly temperate in here. Although it wasn't for a large part of the night. I was just coughing my throat out. Well, that's probably a big reason why I didn't sleep very well. It feels a lot better now. I think most of the shit's come out. Well, this is going to start accumulating now that I get up again. Uh, I don't think the noise has bothered me too much, although there's a fair amount of that going on. Hey, another van. It's much quieter out now than it was like ever before. Since rush hour hasn't started yet, we're just before it. Ugh, ugh, I find dead. At least there was one of those big chain restaurants with Pizza Hut at this place, so. I'm gonna go and try to see if I can make get some breakfast there. It's a cool trying all these big chain restaurants that you keep hearing about but you never see. A large part of the night I also just tied a t-shirt over my head to keep a light out. But that got a bit uncomfortable once it started heating up. Oof. Oh, that's a view in broad daylight. A decent cell phone reception, though. Mm, well, I ordered a small one, and that's certainly a small one. It smells nice, though. Oh, well, it's tiny. It's not bad. It tastes better than a lot of the crap I've had on the road. Leave my visit at all. A bit expensive, though. Almost 10 euros for something that size. All right, we're about to be on our way. So we're in Belgium right there still. And uh, I basically just uh, put a point uh, somewhere randomly in the middle of Germany. Uh, four, 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 seven kilometers away, counting four hours, so five in reality. Must be on our way. I've been letting the van idle for a while since uh, I think that's a 120 kilometer an hour road. And this thing's not going to be happy just going up to that from cold, so. <coughs> I took the opportunity to put some more air in the tyres. Strangely, uh, you lose some tyre pressure after 8,000 kilometres or so. Weird. Uh, but yeah, we're all warmed up now, so let's go. So I didn't think too much about Belgium last time I was here, uh, mostly because I just fixed my brakes and that was pretty much all I did. But uh, at least with this road, the E314 heading eastwards uh, towards the southern end of uh, the Netherlands. It's a lovely road. Uh, it's not entirely flat and straight, it has a bit of a curvature to it as you might be able to see. And uh, uh, it's in excellent shape. It's uh, very low noise and uh, very flat, very, very even. There's a bit of a waviness to it, but really nothing major. I'd give this road a much higher rating than, for instance, the German road I was on. And uh, without a doubt, much higher rating than the bloody British roads. Oh shit, we've got another van dweller. That's one of those campy tenty fingers hanging up of that thing. Alright, uh, we're now a few hundred kilometres into Germany, uh, east of Dortmund, I believe. 
I think this place is called uh, Riedern, something like that. And uh, uh, I've been getting about five hours of driving down today, and uh, it's quite apparent that I uh, didn't get to too good a sleep last night, so had a break, gonna perhaps just take a nap and continue in a few hours, but we'll see. It's relatively warm though, above 10, so it's not too bad, don't need to be suffering here. I'm at like a bit more proper truck stop uh, than, than I was before. Uh, this one actually has a barrier between the road and uh, the parking lot, and I parked perhaps a hundred meters away from the road, so it's way quieter here. There's just going to be some noise from the lorries coming and going. But above all, I'm here at a more reasonable time. It's like 10, 11 in the evening, something like that, so... Uh, most truckers are going to be your spend of the night. Uh, good night, perhaps. Alright, so, I did end up spending the night. It is now the following day. This is all we parked, just a random lorry spot. All the lorries have moved on, though. This is the middle of the day, it's about to four now. Oh dear, I've been taking too long. Uh, but yep, yeah, after the target just around the Danish border, hoping to make that today, it doesn't look impossible at all. Yesterday I got in very few hours since I started so late and got so tired. And uh, yeah, we went from there to there the day before, so I think it's possible to make Denmark today. If all goes well, I'm going to be... Uh, getting on the E45 again, probably when and as I approach and take the same routes I came, bit boring, but I might be seeing it at a different time today anyway. Uh, so, let's get a move on. Clocks are ticking. Oh, look at that. Seems we've come across an actual mountainous region of Germany. It's not quite Norway, but. Uh, it so, sure is a nice contrast to what we've been having for the last couple of thousand kilometers. Very pleasant. And we're back in Hamburg. Uh, and uh, the traffic here we saw the last time is still going on basically. Since we have a massive construction thingy going on. And yeah, it's dark now so you can't see it both. We've got the windmills, we've got the power lines, it's the exact same spots I saw. A traffic jam going south. So this is a big thing about German roads. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up. Uh, there we go, it fixed it. Uh, suddenly, usually the right most lane will just go absolutely horrible. It'll just go, it'll be a, as if you're driving on a road that's main, meant for, I don't know, 70 kilometers an hour. It, it'll be absolutely awful. With, with no forewarning, a couple of times I actually had to move to a left pile of left lane because I simply dare not drive off the right one. It's just so incredibly rough. And it is now about 2.30 in the morning local uh, in Denmark. We are quite a bit further north in Denmark, mainland Denmark, than I've been before. Uh, heading towards the destination. I parked uh, in a uh, on an actual proper parking spot along a minor tiny 60 km an hour road out in nowhere and it's lovely nice and windy outside so I don't even need to run the ventilation. Ah. So tomorrow we're gonna reach my target for Denmark <laughs> Thanks to whoever it was who uh, made the suggestion, but for the time being, sleep. <laughs> 